This video is intended to show you how to sign up for a Google Drive account and set it up on your computer. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go to the Google Drive sign up page uh, and you get there by going to drive.google.com. Uh, that'll take you straight here. Now this is just a general Google account that you're signing up for. So if you already have a Google account then you can type your email and password straight in. Now a lot of people have Google accounts but don't actually realise it because Google owns so many different services um, that uh, say you've signed up for YouTube in the past then that means you have a Google account and also you just use it for so many different things so it might have been forgotten about in the past. So if you know you have a Google account type it in here. If you don't know if you do or not then let's just go to the sign up page because there's a really quick way to check. So just type in your name first so I'm just going to type in uh, a staff member. And then I'm going to click this, I prefer to use my current email address link here because otherwise it will make you sign up for a new Gmail account. And I would prefer just to use my uh, Napier address as I'm sure you probably would as well. So I'm going to type in cgraynapier.uc.uk and then it says straight away this email address is already corresponds to a Google account. Please sign in or if you forgot your password reset it. So. You can go and try and sign in with that email address if that comes up. Click the sign in button, try your normal passwords and if you've forgotten your passwords you can just click that reset it link and it'll send you a new password. But just now I'm going to go through the process of setting up um, a new account just to show you how it works. So uh, I'll just pause it for a sec, fill out the form and I'll just be back. Okay so that's me filled in the form each field done. I'm just going to click next step. So this is what pops up. It says verify your email address. You're almost done. Uh, so all you need to do is go to your email account now and you can uh, click the link in there to verify it. So once you've done that, verified your account, you can just go to the same sign up page and sign in. So it's drive.google.com and type in your details. There we go, we're signed into Google Drive. So the first thing to do is to download the app to your computer. Now just to say it is possible to use Google Drive um, just as a web application, just as a signed in person like this, just using it in a browser. But the real power comes from actually installing it on your computer uh, and then you can save things to a certain folder on your computer and basically it's always synced, it's always kept in sync. And that gives you a lot more flexibility. So click that link over on the left there and then it'll let you download Drive. It's going to accept the terms. Okay, so that's Google Drive installed. And here's where you can now sign in. So thanks for downloading, sign in now. If you put in your standard login details, and then it'll give you a quick little rundown of how Google Drive works. So the way it works is that a folder is created on your computer, just the same as any other folder, but any files in that folder will be synced to the cloud and they'll be available from any of your devices, whether it's um, your laptop, your desktop, your office computer, your home computer, your mobile phone, your iPad, anything like that can all access those same files in your Google Drive and that's the power of it really. You can have all these files that you can access from anywhere, edit from anywhere. So click start sync and you'll see the folder open up, it should open up automatically and it'll start to sync all the files. Now if you've got a brand new account obviously you'll have no files in your Google Drive so this will be blank but because I have an existing account that's syncing all those files that are in my Google Drive account uh, onto my computer. Now there's also uh, a Google Drive icon down in the taskbar. So if you go to the bottom right uh, of your computer you should see a little icon in that taskbar and if you click that it will allow you to open up the Google Drive folder. 
Okay, so that's you all synced up uh, with Google Drive all working on your computer. So you can now do that with any of your other um, devices and have them all synced and have the power of sharing, uh, sharing files in the cloud.